Hello everybody, I'm Pekka Varis from Finland and I'm Machinima guy. I'm making the second part of the Artia tutorial for animation in commercial use with Machinima. And here the scene is booting. If you watch the first part, you knew that we are doing a 50 second ad clip and uh, you can catch up from this animation part as well. So. Uh, I'm talking about now bringing the CC characters, character creator uh, characters into Machinima and putting some motions on them from Action Core library and then, then constraining objects like base and, and cell phone into these characters and working with these animations. So here we have a scene and sometimes we have this kind of uh, red thing going on there on stage but that's nothing. Everything is found, assets are found, uh, don't care about those, everything is there. And uh, we go with character creator, uh, assets like, a, like a hair or clothes or, or some other props, dogs and cell phones. And in this case, I'm having this case of male uh, clothes and also motions from Action Core. So you have to make uh, accounts for this. And we have free motions also here in Action Core. And, and I will show you how to run through the whole thing. So here is Character Creator 3. We make a new uh, project from scratch. And uh, first of all, I'm going to change the character to a basic male, like this one. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll speed it up some parts. And then here we have uh, the hair. And I take the default men hair also. And uh, clothes are then both from, from action, from the character, real illusion, character creator stock. And uh, I have them here on Smart Gallery. Uh, I'm browsing through it and then here's the high quality version, not the low. Always use high quality versions of these clothes. No reason to use low quality versions and, and running them on Machinima is uh, easy and it's fast. And then the motion uh, needs to be both two before we can export it. And I now take one of these free motions so you can follow me on this. And uh, I had some old motions, I will not buy them, I will not use them, so I dealt them and go to checkout and then download in inventory. And here I have motions, these are my free and both motions, and I press the download motion button. And then I will choose the male version of this motion, and I choose also to use character creator as the application. And now it gives me the option to download uh, straight from Character Creator software. So it's on Smart Gallery, it updates there. And the thing is that when you have multiple motions, when you export them to USD, you have to drag your both motions at the export dialog window. And that's why you have to keep track where you have those motions in your own machine, in your hard drive. So it's here I press find file from that motion we just used and I can see my motions here. And I just browse through them and pick the right one. This is the carrying holding item version. It's a commercial, it like, it's like three dollars or something like that. And uh, as you can see now, I will export this character with the hair and clothes as a path traced rendering mode. And I use my custom motion file, which I will drag from Windows folder to there, like that. Then I just press export. Sorry about the screen size here. I export that and I just choose the target folder. Here we go. And it will make a nice USD with me. So next step 
is to open this current uh, guy in Machinima and then I deletter all the other files like environment lights and cameras. I just want the uh, path traced optimized character without any cameras or lights. They are fine, but we don't need them because we're gonna assemble all together in one master USD. And here we go. I save the file and I have opened here the new master USD where I have the environment and uh, just dragged in the guy. No cameras, no lights came, only the character came in. And I can move it around from the main X form. I can also put it down if I want, but I would slide it closer to my camera. I have made this scene earlier many times, so I know about where it is. It's nice there, so it will walk path past the camera and, and uh, the shot continues. And now I will import uh, to the skeleton, import a base, a prop, and attach, constrain it to the skeleton. So uh, as, as you can see, I selected view the skeleton. I can see now the skeleton of the character and I can select the hand because I will tie that vase and flowers, that one object, to the hand bow. Hmm. So here we make some more room and I will bring in my flower and vase. So there they are. And uh, this is the hardest part of the whole project, uh, to move those assets perfectly to the place where you want them to be. Uh, for some strange reason, we have little, little uh, problems with the uh, uh, pivot point moving. Currently, there is no way to move objects pivot point in Machinima. You have to just move the object itself and save it again and move it to the origin and save it again and stuff like that. But here, as you can see, I fiddle around it and I manage to move it around there, somewhere there. And now I uh, hide it, the room, so I have a faster uh, response on Machinima. And uh, I'm using both the mouse tool, but also I have sometimes used this property transformation sliders and numbers to get it right. And uh, I have to also scale the vase so it's wider, because I can't now move the hands. I will learn that and it will be on the next tutorials, how to fine tune these poses and motions from Action Core or motion captured uh, dances and poses made by me or actors. So, uh, finally, I managed to do it uh, about there and then, after it's perfectly on the place, I will constrain it. So, bear with me. And uh, now I will constrain it. I select the left hand, I select the flower X for main and camera constraints, transform constraints. There it is. Uh, and now it's constrained there. So it was animation, constraint. That's the comment. And uh, now it's perfectly constrained to that hand bone. And I can make uh, stories with these tools. And here it's perfectly made on the earlier project where I, I didn't cons where I didn't focused on making the tutorial. So you can see I, I have perfectly aligned it. And you can also move both of them when you select the main X form. Uh, you, can, you can move both assets and these characters on that USD scene. It's perfect. It works without no problem. And here the shot continues. And then uh, we go to the camera animation. We have to use extension called camera animation on Machinima to be able to animate the camera. And here I have in and out keyframes on this one long shot. And camera animation tool is visible 
also uh, nearby my screen here down below and uh, I make some more room to it and now I will press that green plus key icon to make a keyframe there and uh, now I'll go to the very last keyframe on 170 and I move the camera like this upper and closer I use right mouse key and V W uh, keyboard shortcut to zoom in with my camera this is the way I move these cameras when I make animations and now I update that key and yes just like that it updates the camera final position so it slides there now smoothly the dolly movements are perfect and with this current version of Machinima 1.1 1 .1 <coughs> or 2 <laughs> how you want to <laughs> see it uh, I'm sorry there is no good quality curve control but anyway we can see from the premiere here that it's perfectly uh, cut it to the next shot so I have to always use cutting software like Premiere to see the cuts of the final product and now we go to the next uh, issue which is having uh, double uh, motions right behind first one we have a duplicate of it and, and, and this way we can make the shots longer and uh, I will show you here how to do it so I have this character and I then see from my notes where is the motion files because I exported multiple motions with CC USD export I dragged there many motions and now I drag to the sequencer track the motion walking and holding it's the same we just saw and now I go to the frame 51 because there is the first empty frame the motion stops on 50 it's 50 frame long motion file so I have to duplicate that and I, I duplicate it by right clicking and selecting duplicate clip and there we have it but now it's jumping back to the start, starting position so this is a problem I have to solve it by animating this guy with using cube as a marker on the floor and then using time sample extension so I put there a little cube just in front of his shoe and I fine-tune the position and then we can easily uh, just use the keyframe to move that guy to that new position on frame 51 and here it, it's going to happen I go to frame 50 and there I put one keyframe at key so it's the last place and then I go one frame further to 51 and I move the guy there and immediately it made me a new keyframe there it's automatically uh, making the keyframe and now I have to fine-tune see there's a little different little glitch there I zoom in and I check out where the foot were at frame 50 and I move this new position exactly in the same place so it's flawless and this is very fast and this is very intuitive and fun to do see I just got it right without any further job and you saw that little glimpse there it jumped but that's nothing it's just on playback here we don't even see it so it renders out like we see here just perfectly the motion is without any jumps any glitches it works great so that was a nice tip to duplicate this very simple stuff nothing rocket science and then the last tip is about blend shapes because here we have a new kind of character I made this for fun and I used the modify edit facial uh, command to close the eyelids a bit to get this kind of uh, enjoyable coca-cola drinking pose for this guy see it's much better with those eyelids almost closed like sleepy and happy and then if we export this to create our machinima we will get it wrong we will get it like this eyes wide open 
And the problem is we have to put a tick on one thing. See, here is preferences and use scale enable blend shape. If I put that active and then I reboot create or machinima and bring in the same character again, the eyelids are just as I wanted them to be. And uh, that's the last tip for now. And, and with these instructions, you can easily start to make your stories with Machinima. Uh, and on next tutorial about this one, we will concentrate on lightning, on rendering with path traced mode and uh, some texture, video texture solutions to hack the video camera of the mobile phone and then also using rendering farm to, to really push the limits of image quality. And uh, that's the third and final part of this RTO tutorial. After that, there's more coming. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this one wasn't too long. Uh, it was made just with a good feeling. It's Friday here in Finland and after this I enjoy good time with my, my loved wife. Okay, see you, bye!